<sighs> Hello everyone, and welcome to a food algorithm video. Uh, I want uh, this. There we go. Um, so I hope everyone's doing alright today. Uh, I did another 12 hour shift, so it's uh, 4.30 in the morning. Actually, it's 4.48 in the morning, which means if it hits 5 o'clock, that'll be about 10 minutes. So this will be about 10 plus minutes. I actually wanted to go ahead and... Uh, I was talking about... I think uh, I think in my last algorithm food video from yesterday, I was talking about the fact that um, the colony ship is a little broken. <laughs> There's a few things that, while flying in space, I realized was uh, very very wrong so we're gonna go and fix that and then I'll just go ahead and um, relaunch it there she is isn't she pretty oh no 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 uh, so um, my work is very strenuous and uh, unfortunately, my wrists, the nerves are pinched, so uh, if um, if I move my wrists in a certain way, my fingertips go numb, and it's very hard to uh, use the mouse and keyboard when you can't feel the keys or the mouse. <laughs> oh boy, woe is me. So, yeah, I got that to worry about. Uh, so, <gasps> excuse me. No, I don't mean to yawn. No, everybody, don't yawn. Don't yawn. Don't yawn. I know yawning is contagious. Don't yawn. Don't do it. Fight it. Fight it. Man, I wish my wrists would freaking stop doing that. Okay, so, um, what was broken is the fact that, uh, uh, I, I accidentally loaded everybody up in the craft. And hello. Oh, more flood warnings. Great. So when I had, oh my gosh, so when I had the, I'm going to actually shut you down, just shut up, there you go. Um, <clears throat> so when I had a pilot in here, there's nowhere for him to go because of the fact that all this was filled up. So that was one problem. Uh, the other problem was that um, there was no, other than this decupola up here, there's no other way to get an engineer out right and uh, we need we sort of need an engineer to strap down this this piece right here because when it, when you activate the engine it tends to uh, come backwards like a like a uh, like a reed in the wind or something um, so also the setup I found a better setup uh, that would um, be a, a little bit more uh, aesthetically appealing so we're going to do that as well so I'm going to take this pop that out luckily they're separate so I don't have to worry about um, symmetry in this case take that and pop that back out okay uh, let's see here and I'm going to take this and then like that okay and uh, let's see, um, I'm going to take this doohickey. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see, what would look better? Side? Or. I'm going to say this one, okay. Boop, boop, boop. <clears throat> Not trying to yawn, sorry. Okay, that would probably look better. Side? Okay, and then, but uh, I think that's good. That looks, that's about three, right? Well, we can do this real quick. And, uh, huh? Okay, so, ah, so this needs to come down one, and this needs to come up one, actually. In order for it to be sympathetical. Okay, there we go. So grab that, bring it up. Grab this, bring it down. Okay, good, good. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. and oh dear. 
Well, so this is going to be, uh, yeah, like that. Six of them, right? Flip it around, there we go. Looking good, oh shit. Uh, well, uh, well. Okay, I, I can fix this. I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. So what I do is, if that's the case, I'll make this uh, the original attachment and put that right there. Okay, so that that way it'll hopefully it'll work when I attach it to the main body of the rocket later on. Obviously I won't have time for that this video. Okay, and I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna squeeze it in just a pinch. Just a pinch. There we go. Make it look like it's a part of the chassis. And let's see, what else? What is it gonna do? Oh, that's right. I'm actually going to... where are you? Right here. Put the... whoa! No, 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 no. So the reason why we're only doing one is because obviously we're trying to s simulate the fact that this is like super cheap. Thrown together in a heartbeat. Thrown together very quickly. There we go. Okay, so I'm not liking the fact that the solar panels are clipped into the fuel tanks. Oh, that's not even part. Hold on, I need to know which side. What what this is attached to? Is this attached to that? Okay, I think this is attached to that. We'll see. We'll see. I was kind of hoping to use this giant ass end of the colony ship as a kind of um, a satellite. You know, it's it's oversized, obviously. It's a super big satellite. But regardless, it'd have all the satellite stuff on it. For, like, finding ore and whatnot in a, a polar orbit. That would cut down on the fact, on how many satellites I, I had to bring. Because if it's all on the colony ship, then I don't have to bring a whole lot of satellites. The skin on this doesn't like to go back in its little foldy fold, fold stage fold thing. Damn it! I'm really not liking the fact that that's uh, that these are clipping like they are. Um, let me use my noggin. Uh, do 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 do. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to do this then. I mean, I was kind of hoping that I wouldn't have to. But it doesn't look like I have much of a choice. I'm going to use, uh, what do you call it? The mirror symmetry. And just have them all right on top of one another. Like this. That'll give me room on the bottom and the top. I mean, it kind of looks nice too. Just a little bit. Alright, click on that. Hold down shift and bring it in. Oh, whoa. Okay. Make sure I'm on local. Local. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Let's go to absolute real quick so I can line them up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Is this on absolute. Okay. 
It's on absolute, but it's not. This is off a little bit. We have to go up. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. That sort of works. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so, I've only got the fuel tanks down to about this point because of the blast radius of the engine will come out like kind of like this, like a big umbrella. And so these are out of the way, which is, which is what I want. And finally, the thermal uh, radiator thingamajiggy. I'll actually put that sucker right in the middle right here. Drink. So that technically it's like keeping the habitats and stuff cool. Uh, ah, man, there goes my wrists again. 4.59. Coming on 10 minutes. Or probably past 10 minutes. Let me see what this lo looks like real quick. And I think I'll have a little... Instead of having this straight up and down... I think I have a little, little angle to it. Oh. Okay, a little angle to that. And this will be deployed, right? These will be deployed. I know, I know. Thank you, 5 o'clock. You start getting ready. Uh-huh. Y'all. Take a look-see here. Oh. I mean, that's not too bad looking. Uh, I mean, that's not too bad looking at all. Open that up. Deploy. Extend. Okay. And the reason why they're both on the same spot is because when this thing orbits, you know, technically, these are going to be pointed towards the planet to help with communications and stuff, as well as the uh, survey scanner and narrow band scanner and sentinel infrared telescope. All the goodies that I was originally going to put on separate satellites but it was just taking up way too much way too much space and the part count was through the roof per satellite so i figured you know all i need is like three satellites in orbit to make a communication ring around the planet so it, in the spirit of being thrifty uh this whole vehicle is going to be used up for the colony so the back end could be another satellite with a bunch of different uh, equipment on it. Whereas the satellites that are necessary are stocked in the front of the craft. So you got the two communication satellites, that's all they are, just communication satellites. And they will complete the triangle or the ring around the planet. And then you have two rovers uh, to find um, flat landing spaces uh, on on Duna. So basically when this thing parks around Duna, this top will come off and so the decoupled module will come off and pretty much be garbage. All the satellites will be used then that will pop off and once the landing spot is found, you got the factory that will pop off when that lands, it'll build a little factory and stuff, and then when that factory stuff is done, then these landers will pop off. One, two lander. This will be left over in orbit for satellite reasons, and that's when the colony starts being built. So the entire ship is used. And I, I, I really like that. I mean, maybe except for this decoupler part, that's not going to be used and some of the pieces that are in between here sure that's going to be space garbage but for most part 95 percent of the craft is used for the colony which is nice i like that and i kind of like the, the 
I kind of like this look right here. This look, it, it looks it looks good with uh, having you know, like this uh, spoiler up here and then all the communication and the other stuffs down here. Looks really nice. I like it. All right, well, that's time, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I'm sure I'll do a little bit more to it before uh, I do a... Uh, Nothing. A let's play. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about doing a cinem cinematic first. Like the cinematic I did for the um, launching bit, which I, I, th I got yelled at. Uh, somebody didn't like the fact that I used the emergency hotline. <laughs> emergency hotline. Uh, emergency uh, sound stuff that you usually hear for like disasters and whatnot. But um, there are. <laughs> There are so many of uh, disaster videos and 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 horror videos and like SCCP videos and stuff that use these types of uh, sound effects, and that's what it was. I I found it online. It was a sound effect, right? It was meant to be used in a film. Uh, so they, they they got upset and offended by that, but. Uh, <sighs> I'm probably not going to stop using stuff like that only because of the fact that it's based on a fictional story and I even sped it up so that it sounds like a bunch of chickmunks talking through the radio uh, because of the fact that it's Kerbal, right? So, you, you know, I, sp I speed up the voices so it's a little, a little on the squeaky side. So, I thought it was awesome. It, it added to the tension and the seriousness of what was going on in a planet about to be wiped out by a comet. And so it got your heart racing a little bit, got you into it, and you became immersed into it. And so I'm still going to use stuff like that. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just a, it, it caught me off guard a little bit um, when um, I was told not to use that anymore. I was like, wow, damn. <laughs> but, you know, if... Uh, it, it, if you're offended by anything I make and whatnot, then I apologize. I really do. I super apologize. I'm not going to stop doing it, but I apologize 100%. Um, you know, for for me personally, it's fictional and it's meant for entertainment, so it's not real in any way. Uh, I don't know why that that got to me. Oh well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it get to me anymore though. So. All right, well, I love you all. Thank you so much, and please be safe out there. It is, uh, it's, I almost got rear-ended and hit twice coming home last night. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the election thing going on over here, but people are crazy. I mean, you got to drive defensively, uh, like you, like, like they're after you or something. But anyway, all righty, that's me. I'm, um. I'm off to work for another 12-hour day. Later, everybody. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I'm out. I'm out. Click. Click.